Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at how to update the BOSS on your MSI B550M VDH Pro Wi Fi. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to do a BIOS update on the MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi Fi. This is a 12th gen motherboard on the LGA 1200 platform from MSI and generally, to be honest with you, it's unlikely you actually need to do a BIOS update. Let's get that out there straight away. Pretty much all of the processors which are available on either the 10th or 11th gen platform are supported pretty much out of the gate with this particular motherboard, even from the very first BIOS revision. So you might want to update the BIOS for things, maybe you're installing Windows 11, in which case you want the BIOS settings ready. So it's got secure boot, TPM, etc., etc., enabled already. So you don't have to faff around with it. Or potentially you might just be having some weird issues where you may have a slightly corrupted BIOS, which potentially could be happening, or you just are one of those people that likes having the latest BIOS, which uh, guilty as charged, I would like to do the same thing myself, which is why we're going to do this today. So what are you going to need? You're going to need a USB stick, ideally less than 32 gigabytes in size, so you can format it to FAT32, which is possibly going to be one of the contributing factors if you're not able to update your BIOS. You can as well if you want to, you can update it through the MSI Center, although there's been a lot of people that have had issues with that, so certainly from my point of view, I would probably advise against doing that if you can, but certainly if you want to, you can do. We will show you a little bit later on how that is done, just in case you want to do that. We won't be doing the actual BOSS update in MSI Center, but I'll show you how you can get it started, so if you, uh, if you want to take a gamble, you're more than welcome to. So we're going to be doing it directly from the BIOS in the system, so you will need to have a working system which can display a BIOS screen, such as what we've got on the screen right now. Um, that's going to be pretty much it. So let's head over to the computer and we'll download the BIOS and get it ready on our USB drive. Okay, so we're on our desktop here. So you will obviously need a working computer to get this download and put it onto a USB stick. Make sure you've got a USB stick. Like I said, FAT32 so needs to be the format and less than 32 gigs. Otherwise, you're going to struggle to format it to FAT32. You can use FAT16 as well um, if you've got a very, very old drive. Less than, I think that'll be 4 gigs or something. Anyway, I digress. So this is the page, so msi.com forward slash motherboard forward slash b560m dash pro, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Links will be in the video description, obviously. If you go over to the support tab, and you've got the option here for drivers and downloads, BIOS, driver, and utility. So if you need any utilities, any updates, drivers, etc., those are all here as well. But BIOS is what we're looking at today. So currently we're on version 1.4, which is this one here which has the updated CPU microcode for some of the newer processors which are available. There's a very, very small handful of them which are available and also adjust the PCI lane setting. The new version just adds the option to change the default setting of secure boots and it's a, a newer bar, so there will be other things under the hood which they've not told you about, so it should be a little bit more reliable. So what we want to do is download this one. So we'll click on download and we'll save this to our desktop. And this shouldn't take very long at all to download, so Let's uh, minimize that now, and um, there is our file. So it is compressed, so we need to extract it. So it's extract all, you can use WinZip or the Windows built-in tool, whichever you want to do. And if we go over to the folder, we can see now we've got a text file, which gives you information about the BOSS, and there is our actually BOSS file, which is about 32 megabytes in size. Now we need to put this onto a USB drive, so our USB drive is plugged in already. I'm gonna right click on that, we're gonna format it just to be on the safe side. And we're going to set the default allocation size, leave the volume label empty, and just click on start. Obviously, make sure that you're happy to erase it because clearly it's going to get rid of everything that's on there. If you're happy, click OK. And the format is complete, so now we've got a blank drive. So if we click on that one, you can see yep, blank drive. Back to our desktop and our folder. And we're going to right click on this one, we're going to choose copy. And then we're going to go to our USB drive, right click and choose paste. So copy and paste or cut and paste, whichever you choose to do. Once that's done, you can close that window and then you can eject the drive ready to install it into your PC. So we're going to here and eject Ultra USB 3.0. You can take the drive out of the computer and that's it. We're done. Okay, so we're back over onto our bar screen. So I'm going to go ahead now and plug in my USB drive into the motherboard. Ideally put it into one of the USB 2 ports, but Really, it's kind of entirely up to you. So this is the main BIOS layout. So you can see everything which is going on here. And the setting we want is down here in the bottom. So M flash, 
So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It says, the system will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Uh, yes, we do. And my mouse is uh, very slow on here for some reason. So click on yes. And now the system is going to reboot and go into the M flash mode. As you can see, enter in flash mode and straight into M flash and immediately has picked up all of our drives and also our SanDisk drive, which is where our BIOS file is. So let's go down over here, click on SanDisk, and then we can click on this file here. Double click on that, and it'll say, are you sure you want to select this file? Once you're happy, then you go ahead and click on yes. And it comes up with BIOS is updating. So at this point, don't touch anything. You'll probably find as well that any USBs which are connected may be dysfunctional. So if you try and move the mouse or anything, it probably won't do anything anyway. Uh, it does say there, notice mouse and keyboard would be locked during updating. This is to stop you doing anything daft. Also, obviously, don't turn off your computer or restart the system or power down because this will potentially brick your BIOS and obviously make the motherboard essentially useless without having to send it back to the manufacturer. At the bottom there, you can see the temperatures and also you can see that currently we are flashing from BIOS version V1.40 and we're upgrading to version V.60 or 1.60 from the 14th of the 7th, 2022. So just let it carry on do its thing, it shouldn't take too long. And we'll wait for the reboot. And now the system is gonna be re-rebooting itself. It may take a little longer than usual because it is gonna try and retrain the memory and obviously it's kind of validating the flash and all those kinds of things. So don't panic too much if you've got a blank screen. So the reboot system's coming back up and running again and it's gone straight into trying to load Windows. Ideally, you want to go into the BIOS and make sure that all things like your XMP settings and all that kind of thing are correct. But yeah, that's uh, looking looking okay. So that is uh, what I would consider to be uh, a good result. So there you go, that is the BIOS updated. Now, for those of you that actually do want to take it up to the next level and use MSI Center, which again, ideally, you're probably best not doing, but you certainly can do. Let's go into MSI Center and I'll show you how you can actually get this done. So for those of you that want to go through MSI Center, this is how we're going to do it. So you have to have MSI Center installed, so it should be in your taskbar down here, or you may find it in your start menu. So double click on that to open it up. And currently we're actually in advanced there. So normally you'd be in hardware monitoring when it starts up for the first time generally, or maybe even features. So click on support, go to live update, and then click on advanced. And then you can do scan. And if there is actually an update, it will show you here. The screen may flicker once or twice. And as you can see, there's no updates because we have got our update BIOS, but generally your BIOS will be here. So just put a tick in the checkbox and then uh, cross your fingers and pray. So there you go, there is how to update the BIOS on your MSI B550M Pro VDH Wi-Fi. Very straightforward, very simple to do. Um, yeah, not really much more I can say. There isn't really, like I said at the very beginning, there isn't really a good reason why you'd want to update the BIOS unless you're experiencing issues. Like I said, pretty much all processors are supported out of the box from the very first revision for the LJ1200 processors on both 10th and 11th gen. But if you're potentially having issues, audio issues, or you just want to get it ready for Windows 11 installation, then maybe it's worth doing. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. If this video has been helpful to you, smash the like button. If you want to see more content on a daily basis, then hit subscribe and also the chime notification and you'll see us in your daily feed. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and Now Too, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.